Hi guys, today's project is a tailboard hook. Um, it goes on an old cart, a bit like the uh, harness hook I did in my last video. Um, this bit on the left here with the thread on goes through the tailboard and then the chain attaches to this bit here and it's basically adjustable to move the tailboard up and down. This bit goes on the inside of the, the side of the trailer, no, back the other way around, that way around. Uh, and the chain hooks on there. It's left open at the moment because they put the chain through and then close it all up. So I've got quite a few to do. I've already done this end, made the ring, threaded it. I've done it metric 10mm because it's 10mm bar. It'd be too silly to try and do 3.8. So I've got to try and put all these together. I think I've got a dozen or more of each to do. Um, oh yeah, uh, I've already done the, there we go, uh, where are they? There, I've already done these bits in the, exactly the same manner as I did the harness hook in my last video, so I won't bore you by showing you doing them again. So I've done all them and cut them down to, I think it's about eight inches which is about the right size to make this all in one without having to cut it down again. First bit would be to do the ring and then do the hook. I've discovered that that's probably the easiest way. And because I've got so many to do, I made a couple of little jigs. And this first one is for doing the ring. Just put the bar in there, bring it all the way around, then bring it back and bend it back the other way and this one is for doing the hook just put the hook in or the, the, the bar in with the nib sticking out and hook it round so that's the next project so let's get on get them in the fire and get going right so I've got this hot just stick it just through Pull it right the way around. Now that's come around nicely because if you get it too hot it can bend further up. It means you've got to try and straighten it on. But the disadvantage is that uh, well, now I want to bend it back the other way. It's not hot enough so I'm just going to touch it up with the gas. So I've got a, a nice little localised heat there. So I can pull it back the other way to centralise the ring back round and tighten it up a bit more. And there you go. A bit more in the centre. And that's it, that's good enough for this job. It's you know it's nothing spectacular. But it's it's perfectly ad adequate for this job. Right now the hook. Again I've got it warm I've cooled out the end because I don't want to damage it. And then it's again simply pulling it on round. And again, if you get it too the heat too long, you'll find it'll bend too far up near the ring. And you'll end up trying to straighten it out. See, that's not perfect, but it's it's pretty damn good. And it should assure that most of them come out the same. And now we've got to open it up and put the other bit on, the threaded bit. So I'm just going to stick it in the vise. And again, I'm going to use the gas here. You can fiddle about and do it in the forge, but it's such a difficult job. If you've got gas, it's just so much more convenient and easy just to give it a quick touch. You want about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or something doesn't need to be masses, just enough to make it easy to open up. That's about enough. Just going to pull her open, just enough to get the other hook on, and then close her up again. And that's it for that bit. Still moves freely. So 
So we've got just one more little process to do. And that is just behind the, the ring is put a downward bend on it. It just may, means that the when the chain is on the hook, it's pulling fairly straight. Um, it's not sort of pulling the hook one way or the other. It should be pulling fairly straight. Again, I'm going to use the gas. For jobs like this, it's perfect because it gives you a really nice localised heat just in one little spot. It saves you having to get it all hot then try and quench the bits you don't want to bend. Obviously if you haven't got the gas then you, that's the way you've got to do it, but uh, I've got it so I use it. Every, anything to make the job easier. There you go, that's about it now. I don't know if you can see what I mean, but when the chain is in the, the eye of the hook, it will be pulling fairly straight. So I've just got to clean that up and get on and do the other. 11 or whatever it is I've got to do. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.